Okay, in this video presentation we're going to show you the Instalert 7 panel drug screening test. Instalert is a international brand of drug of abuse screening tests made by Innovacon Inc. This Instalert uh, 7 panel uh, is a combination intended for drugs teams. we just show you the reverse of the foil. You'll see it's a, a good combination for uh, drugs of dependency. It's got cocaine, amphetamine, cannabis, methadone, opiates, barbiturates and benzodiazepines. So it covers seven common dependency inducing drugs with uh, the addition of cannabis on there. Uh, the drug test is very simple to do if we remove this one from the foil to show you the actual panel formation. It comes out with a destent pouch which just keeps the panel from absorbing moisture. And here we have the standard Instalert uh, panel combo two on one side and five on the uh, reverse giving a total of seven. Codings for the individual drug strips shown quite clearly uh, with an indicative results panel as well. Just remove the cover that gives you the prongs that uh, I've got the wavy lines indicating the dip for, for the urine. The urine mustn't touch the bottom of the uh, panel when it's being dipped and if I just dip this into a sample off camera only needs to be dipped for uh, about five to six seconds. Beauty of the design of these panels with the covers is, as soon as it's been dipped, obviously these are hydroscopic uh, membranes, they absorb the urine in, but by re-covering the panel, the uh, panel is fine now, it's put down onto a, a clean work surface. Uh, there's no leakage or touching of uh, any of the work surfaces or contamination with the urine sample once the, the cover's been put back on. Now what you can see with this uh, panel running here is the, the pinkish dye membrane running up on this barbiturate test. You've got an almost immediate negative result on that. You will see there's quite a bit of variance in the, the rapidity of the, the membranes running on this 7 panel. That's quite normal. They're all going to take between 2 and a maximum of 8 minutes to run and develop. And you're looking for the standard format on these tests which is the presence of a control line. Then you're interpreting the presence or absence of the drug by the presence or absence of a test line. If there's drug present in the sample at or above the cutoff level for that particular membrane, no test line will form, just a control line giving a positive result for that drug group. If there is no drug present, then the dye will bind to the test line and the test line will form giving a negative result. So that is a very simple, easy procedure for urine testing giving you seven independent semi-quantitative results to internationally agreed cutoffs. These are set at NIDA and SAMHSA cutoff levels. So for instance, the cocaine is 300, amphetamine at 1000, THC at 50, uh, etc. So they're all NIDA cutoffs. That basically means comparison between different brands of drug group is easy as long as they're working to the same cutoff. The results when testing uh, within a urine sample should be identical. So that's a demo showing the Instalert 7 panel drug test including methadone, barbiturates and benzodiazepines.